Hi, in this video I'm going to show you the collaborative debugger in Cloud Studio. First, let's go to the Cloud Studio URL. Okay, so I'm going to log in with my username and password. And then I select the project called Collaborative Debugging, which we use to showcase our debugger. And now I see a regular IDE showing up in the browser. Over here, I see which other developers are online working on this project. And I have this little chat to talk to them. But for now, let me hide this. Of course, we can browse the project and we can open and modify files. And the script that we see here defines a simple linked list data structure. And I'm now going to use this to uh, demonstrate the basic features of the debugger. So let me set a breakpoint at line 10 and another one down here at line 82. I now run the debugger in single user mode. It runs until the first breakpoint and we see that up here we have a toolbar with basic debugger commands such as step into, step over, resume, etc. The little black bar on the side of the editor indicates the current position of the debugger. So I can step over uh, to the next line or resume until the next breakpoint. Down here uh, I have a list of all the program's variables and their values. And in the expression tab I can evaluate my own expressions. For example, the first node in the list uh, at list item of zero uh, has the result uh, uh, red. We are now going to look at two different screens at the same time. Let me go ahead and start a new debugging session. I get a list of the developers currently online and I select Martin as my partner for this session. On the right hand screen we now see that Martin gets a pop-up message inviting him to join the collaborative debugging session. And he accepts the invitation. Now the debugger executes till it hits the first breakpoint. And while our debugging sessions are synchronized on that breakpoint, we can both still scroll and browse our files independently of each other. The same is true for the list of variables shown by the debugger. Up here in the debugger controls, I can trigger a step over operation and we see that the debugger moves to the next line for both of both the users. Let me jump forward to the next breakpoint. Martin adds an additional breakpoint on line 83. And we see that the breakpoint shows up for both of us. That is, setting and removing of breakpoints is shared amongst all users in the debugging session. I'm now going to add an expression to figure out the current value of the first list item. As you can see, my expression is immediately shared with Martin. Likewise, any expression that Martin adds is shared with me. However, as you can see, the debug controls are only enabled for me. They are not enabled for Martin. That is because we are in a single user control debugging session. To give Martin control over the debugger, 
I can select him as a new master user. And now you see that the debug controls are enabled for Martin, but they are disabled for me. Let me again start a debugging session, but this time I'm choosing multi-user control. Once more, I'm inviting Martin and he accepts my invitation. Compared to a single user control session, you can see now that the debugger controls are enabled for both of us. I can control the debugger and so can he. The rest of the collaborative debugging experience remains exactly the same. Thanks for watching and happy debugging!